Hello Darts Nuts, today I'm going to have a look at the Cosmo Fit Flight system. Uh, it's been out quite a while and uh, I have used it before but uh, they've got a few newer developments now with the uh, different stems and there's a lot more flights available. If you've never seen the system before it's uh, it's a system that you can lock your flights into your shaft very easy system uh, innovative flight and shaft the push-in system enables us to e install easily it keeps the flight firmly in correct shape at four 90 degree angles there are two types of shaft the spinning type smooth rotation no wobbling or shaking and the lock type firmly fixed does not spin as you can see there's a, a massive variety of uh, flight shapes and colours available there's a huge amount of uh, different coloured stems of different lengths with some uh, slight differences in the shapes of the stems which I'll show you in a minute but uh, I'll just have a quick look at the uh, catalogue there's two different types of flights that are available one is the uh, the fit flight air which is um, the lighter and thinner flight it weighs less and it's a little bit more flexible and there's a, the standard um, fit flight which is a slightly more rigid uh, material the fit flights air are available for around £5.25 and the normal flights are around about £4.50, £4.32 depend where you look but as you can see there's a, a lot of different colours and shapes you've got your standard shape, you've got your shape these are all like new shapes that have Cosmo designed there's the teardrop shape which I think we would probably call pear shape uh, you've got F shape, I think we might call them fantail, then there's super shape, kite, which is our normal kite shape, and super slim, which is what we would normally have as slim. Um, I think the stop and making the standard minis, but you've got rocket inside, which is like a variation of the standard shape flight, and then you've got super kite. W shape and then you've got the normal uh, fit flights in pretty much the same shapes again and then you've got a huge variety of different materials for the stems there's the more expensive titanium and super duralunium and magnesium also there's a carbon stem available but the stems are also available in a, a, a lot of different sizes but there's also different shapes, you've got a normal shape and a hybrid shape and then you've got the fit shaft gear these are um, what took over from the original fit shafts I believe these are about 40% stronger and they have them in normal shape, slim and hybrid which is kind of a mixture between slim and normal again you've got a wide variety of sizes there's eight different uh, lengths and then you've got your spinning shafts again you've got them in normal, slim and extra short and extra long and also you have a variety of player endorsed Cosmo flights there's a lot of players now that are endorsed by um, Cosmo and some of the players have their own unique shapes and designs now the thing with this particular system is like I already said on that description it keeps your flights at a perfect 90 degree angle but more than anything it's such an easy system to use and if like me you've got bad eyesight or you have trouble 
putting uh, stems, uh, flights on normal stems if you find it a bit fiddly you should have no problem with this it's just a simple case of you take the, uh, the stem and you just push it into the flight this is the spinning stems you're done in about two seconds can't really get any more simple than that really it's, it's just such an easy system to fix up now for me that's a perfect system because I often struggle trying to get the flights in I'm like this and I'm trying to get them in the little notches no problems at all with that even a little kid could do that quite easily and that to me is the the biggest beauty about the Cosmo Fit flights is just how well it works how simple an idea it is but it works brilliantly right I'm just gonna have a look at uh, a few of the stems but before that I'll show you some of the flights this is the uh, the normal Cosmo Fit flights these are made with the harder more rigid material as you can see that they're a little bit thicker um, I dare say that they may weigh more but I'm not sure whether this scale will be able to measure such a, a light item I'll have a look it says 0.9 grams let's reset the scale and the fit flight air is 0.58 grams so it's quite a difference in size in weight I should say but with the uh, fit flight airs the material is softer it's more flexible both flights perform just as well they both work at 90 degree but if you want something that's lighter on the end of your dart then you'll probably want to go for the uh, the fit flight airs but also the the airs come in a lot of transparent versions which I think look nice certainly looks better the durability of the airs is probably going to be a little bit better than the the more rigid standard Cosmo flights mainly because the material is softer so there's more chance of it bending out of the way of an incoming dart so I'll just uh, have a look at the different shape of flights first that's your uh, standard shape and the fit flight air and the normal flights uh, this is the kite shape again it's got very soft material I'll put some close-up pictures of these so you can have a better look at them that's the slim or super slim it's probably useful for people that throw the dart um, at a faster speed so the slimmer the flight the more it will cut through the air this is the F shape quite a nice shape that one so you've got like a, a mixture between different shapes of flights so there's got to be something for everyone really it's point for choice I think so you might find it difficult to find out which one is your favorite I like the look of these ones these are the shape which is kind of a cross between the standard and the slim it's a very nice uh, colour and transparent purple and this is the uh, teardrop 
shape which in the UK we probably call it pear shape and this one is the rocket it's called rocket inside I'm not sure what that is referring to but it looks like a kind of a modified standard shape the only thing I'm not sure of is what benefit these extra shapes can provide I guess it's a case of uh, just trying the shapes and see what you prefer I've always used standard shape myself but that's probably because I have more of a floaty kind of a throw if my throw was a little bit uh, faster I'd probably go for one of the slimmer shapes and they have the same shapes in the standard version of the Cosmo except this is a different shape again this is the W shape it's another interesting shape that it's got a very thin front front part and then it kind of goes a little bit like the fan fan shape or the F shape uh, super shape height and F shape so that's all your different shapes of flights now with the stems you've got a normal stem which is pretty much like the stems that you would be normally using this is the normal locked and this is the longest you can get I think you get extra long but this is the longest in the, the normal fit shaft gear it's uh, 42.5 millimeters long the locked stems when you push this flight in you can feel that there's a, a definitely more rigid like feel to the flight as it goes in you can feel it gripping just as you push it in so it doesn't spin on the locked version as you would expect I'll do, I'll do some close-ups of the uh, the various stems and that but for now I'm just going to go through them now one thing I have noticed is if you've used a normal stem and you've been putting your flights in a normal stem because it's a little bit thicker around here to grip and hold the flight you might find it it's a little bit too loose when you use it on a spinny spin and shaft but it's not such a massive problem but you can feel that the flight has been widened slightly by being on the locked stem so it feels as if it's spinning more freely the advantage I think of using the spinning stem is that you've got more chance of prolonging the life of the flight because obviously as your dart comes in it's going to spin out the way just see right. chances are it's just going to move out the way whereas if, when it's rigid you're probably going to get more contact so there's more chance of the flight getting damaged but the good thing about the Cosmos spinning stems is when you've got your flight attached they don't feel loose and they don't feel rattly so there's not a great deal of difference between the feel of the spinning shaft and the normal shaft it's not going to put you off if, if you've been one of the people that don't like spinning stems and a lot in the UK don't then you might be surprised when you try the uh, spinning stems of the Cosmo system because you can't really tell that you've got a spinning flight on, on the end it's just it doesn't rattle and it doesn't shake so there's not that loose feeling that can put you off that you get with some spinning stems 
I particularly like the spinning stems to be honest I think uh, they work really well I do like the look of these these clear it's like almost like a clear crystal so you got your different lengths in the fit shaft gear this is 38.5 millimeter this is a solid color again that's a, a normal locked and you got 35 millimeter 31 millimeter these are all the locked versions 28.5 millimeter and then you've got 24 millimeter and then 18 millimeter and it goes all the way down to this very small 13 millimeter stem so you've got a wide variety of lengths there to choose from so you should have no excuse not to be able to fine tune your darts to your own preference as well as the uh, fit shaft gear normal there's the fit shaft gear slim which is these ones again they come in a, a wide variety of lengths you got solid colours and then you got transparent colours I'll just have a look at the uh, these ones the shafts are about uh, I think they're about six pound the shafts retail around six pound but this is the uh, spinning slim it's a nice looking shaft that it's it feels pretty strong as well it's uh, got a little bit of flex in it that's again it's a spinning one so it spins nice and freely so you've got them in spinning and locked so again there's a massive choice to choose from let's attach the rocket inside on this one there you go, that's the locked one. I'll put close ups of them all so you can see, get a better close look at them. The, uh, the normal shafts are obviously less bendy because they're thicker. I'm going to put some comparisons of the weight up as well so you can see the difference in weight. I do like the look of them. It's nice. There's a little bit more effort taken to pull these ones off, so chances are that the uh, flights are not going to pop off when you're playing. But if they do, they're so quick and simple to replace back onto the shaft that you'll have no problems at all. Now, this is another version of the um, stems. These are the hybrid. I'll show you the white ones because you'll be able to see the shape better with the white. They're a kind of a, a mixture between the normal and the slim. So you've got quite a thicker front part of the barrel and then it goes into a slim. Another very nice looking shaft. just attach them to the darts so you can get an idea of what they look like on the set of darts gives the dart a very sleek look again it's a strong flight air uh, shaft but obviously where it's thinner it's going to be more flexible but it feels pretty strong so chances are it's not going to break also you're not going to break the tops of the uh, shafts because 
it's protected by the flight itself. So that's your hybrid shaft. Right, as well as all the uh, different um, flight shapes and different stems, there's also a few accessories that are available. One of them is this particular thing, it's a container to uh, hold your flight. Open it. Uh, that's the first time I've had it. Oh, that's it. So, let's see what this is like. So that's it basically. It just holds your, your shaft and your flight all nice and protected inside this and then you got like a little loop there so you can attach it to your key ring quite a, a nifty little item it's a very durable hard plastic so shouldn't be any problems with getting your flights damaged while it's in this case. There's a lot of accessories available, that's one of them. And then there's uh, these little things. Now it says Marukan, multiple compact case. This is the round version and then you've got a square version so basically what this is is just a, a container so you can store you can store your shafts or your points so you put your shafts in there and then if you're playing soft dip darts you can store your points in there and you just pop it in the case another handy little feature well another handy little item to have so it holds three shafts and three points so that's what that does All nice little neat things to keep your accessories and your extra flights and shafts. The round one is, is just the same sort of thing. Looks like you get two in a box if it'll open this. So it's the same thing, it's just a, it's a round version. Just little accessories to use if you want to carry extras around with you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare some of the different uh, stems with flights. Just give them away. Um, before I do that I'm going to do a close up of a few of them just so you can have a better look to see what they look like. Alright, I'm just going to go through the different shapes. This is the Fit Flight Air standard shape. As you can see, it's just what you expect the shape to be for standard. This is the kite shape. This is the super slim shape. This 
is the F shape. A nice shape that one. These are the transparent uh, fit flight airs. This one is just simply called shape. It looks a kind of a cross between standard and a little bit like the F shape. Another nice looking flight. This one is the teardrop, which in the UK we probably call pear shape. This one is the W shape. It's got quite a slim like front to it. Slightly strange kind of a shape. It's a little bit like a mixture between the kite and the F shape. And this one is the rocket inside shape. It's like a modified standard shape. It's kind of like an elongated standard shape. It's got like rounded top edge but uh, quite a long front edge. Alright, I'll show you a close up of the shafts. This is the normal fit shaft gear, pretty much like the shape of uh, normal stems that people use, like nylon stems. This is the slim fit shaft gear, the locked version. Um, and this is the slim spinning version. Don't know if you can see, but where the uh, notches. On the spinning version, the gap is a little bit tighter looking. But I think the, uh, the little notch is smaller in width. It's a bit hard to, to get it exactly in focus. But it's only that section here which is uh, making the difference between it being a spin or a locked version. Could be this, that's the difference in size. This looks thinner, the bit that holds the flight. And this is the uh, hybrid shaft. So there you go, that's a close look at the flights and shaft. Okay, what I want to do now is I just want to do a quick check on the uh, difference in weight. Um, they're all 31 millimeter stems this is the the normal stem and that weighs one gram according to that this is the same length but it's the slim spinning stem that's not point five six grams so it's almost half the weight uh, this is the same length again no, sorry, that's that's the uh, that was the slim lock, but this is the hybrid in the same length. So that's not point eight. 
So obviously the slim is the lightest and then the hybrid and then your normal. Now I think this is an equivalent size. This is a, a nylon deflected grip but I think it's the closest I can find to match the point where the flight sits onto the stem. And that's 1.23 grams. So if I was to uh, fix a normal flight to this, then it's 2 grams or 2.01 grams. And this is a standard air with the normal stem. So that's weighs 1.65 grams. So it's quite a bit less than what you would be using as a normal setup. Obviously, it's going to be even less if you use it on the slim. It's 1.2 grams. All right, I'm just gonna. Try the stems out. I have tried Cosmo stems before, so I know pretty much how they perform. But I'm gonna just throw a few at the dartboard just so you can see. I'm probably gonna use the uh, 31 millimeter because that looks like it's the closest match to the medium stems that I have. Um, I'll probably throw these ones actually, the slim spinning stems. But you've got a wide variety of choice with the uh, Cosmo system. There's a lot of different stems and sizes, so you spoil for choice on what you want. And I think it's a great system, it looks great. The styles of the flights are nice and colourful. There's a lot of different variety in shapes plus you've got the players flights which are um, printed with them um, players names and the players logos so there you go that's your Cosmo fit flight system very interesting and innovative system that's so simple to use even a, a child could do it so I'll just have a few throws at the board so you can see it in use. Alright, I'm just going to have a few throws. I'm going to use the 31mm slim fit spinning shafts and the standard fit flight airs. I don't really notice any obvious rattling as I'm holding the dart or throwing it even though they're spinny flights there's nothing that puts me off and um, the only thing I do notice is when I've let go of the dart then I can feel well not feel it but hear the uh, flight spinning there's nothing that puts me off about using the spinning shafts though I guess the good thing about the uh, spinning shaft is obviously as the dart comes in it's going to spin out the way so it's going to be less resistance. The other thing I notice is that 
with the stems and the flights being a bit lighter my dart seems to be zipping through the air a little bit quicker Yeah, it's a, a, a great system really, I mean, how simple can it be just to put your flights on? Probably less than a second I would imagine. If any fight flights pop up off while you're playing, you're going to have no problems putting them back on. It's great for people like me who don't have uh, very good eyesight. Yeah, it's a great system this. I'd highly re recommend it to anyone. If you've never tried it before, then it's definitely worth giving it a go. I mean, the flights are perfect at 90 degree angle. You've got a huge variety of different stems and flight shapes, so it's such a simple system that works perfect. So, give it a go, and I'm sure you're going to like it if you do. That's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.